Good morning and welcome to another month with the Cave Allerton and Detailing Team. Let's go! cars in this morning uh, this one being the second uh, mini countryman all four e-hybrid uh, not many of these around at the minute so I think there's about 30 miles on on, on a charge range uh, I just want to update you really it's the 12th of June we've not really done much filming uh, up until now we've been working on maintenance details and maintenance bookings that you will have seen in previous vlogs so we're trying to switch it up a bit new cars which we've got coming uh, in the next couple of weeks we've got two very special cars coming in the next couple of weeks as well so stay tuned for those um, I'll just show you this one this has just been treated to a bit of a maintenance clean and that could do with cleaning as well there we go that's better this one was coated in Gardex by the dealership, believe it or not. Uh, if you can just catch it on camera there, bird etching. Catch that one on camera, bird etching. So yeah. That's where that belongs. Absolutely useless. So the customer's been notified about those, um, and we'll be taking it up with uh, BMW Mini. Uh, I'd be quite annoyed. There's another one. Comes up well, scrubs up well. It's a lovely colour. You'll have to excuse me uh, not picking my feet up while I'm walking. I've actually got some new boots, wellies, uh, to stop his feet getting absolutely soaked. Exhaust being given a polish as well. So yeah, it's uh, a nice car, but I'm uh, just going to go for some lunch now. And I'll update you on KVD plans for the next couple of weeks shortly. So then, what's been happening? Well, we've been extremely busy these last couple of weeks. Uh, we've had a few late shifts thrown in the mix as well. Uh, as I said, 12th of June. Uh, we've got a bit of filming done here and there, a couple of walk-arounds to throw in for you. Um, but yeah, as you can probably tell, we're not in the KVD wagon at the moment. Uh, it, unfortunately, it's off the road. Uh, cooling and heating issues. Uh, we're struggling really hard to get hold of the parts. Uh, so it's, gonna be, we've, it's been off the road about a week and a half now. Uh, so we're actually back to where we began. Uh, we're in a Fabia VRS. Uh, it's a bit of a struggle. Obviously used to the big boot of the wagon. and um, But yeah, we're managing. We're still working. We're still turning out details the KVD way. Uh, with many happy customers and many more bookings. As I speak to you today, bookings are now from the 2nd of July. So we're looking three to nearly four weeks in advance. Uh, which is fantastic, uh, we can't complain at that. KVD news, what have we got for you? Uh, we've got two special cars coming up. 
Uh, one is absolutely brand spanking new. Uh, I'm not going to give you any details just yet. Uh, you'll have to see and wait through the uh, and have a watch through the vlog to find out what that is. Something very nice. Uh, we are back to do a maintenance detail on a car that we saw last year. Very rarely gets used. That'll be at the back end of the vlog, so you've got something to look forward to. What else? Uh, we are going to wax stock, and what's more, we are taking this a 2014 Skoda Fabia VRS that we've looked after uh, since it was purchased. Uh, we're going to be in the show and shine. So if you spot it, vote for it, please. We'd love to win. Uh, we'd love to be able to take a trophy home with this and deliver it back to its owner. Um, thank you for the owner for letting us take it as well. It's, it's fantastic. It's going to be brilliant. Apart from that, I think that's it and all we need to update you on. Uh, if I find out anything else or we find anything else to update you on, we will do. Uh, the, only, the only other thing is the KVD shop. Uh, absolutely storming at the moment we'll put a link to that below uh, head over and see what we're supplying now wash mitts drying towels you name it it's all on there buckets grit guards everything uh, we've sold a mountain of products recently so yes head over have a look at that link below and we will see you shortly morning folks it's uh, Friday the 15th of June uh, we've just spent a couple of hours on this Focus ST line uh, brand new but for our silver package uh, it's a lease car um, so I'm not actually going through our new car full new car protection detail which would include a full single stage machine polish to remove any dealership de dealership defects the car is actually in really good nick from Ford themselves. So we've got a full safe wash. Um, dried the vehicle off. I uh, give it a wipe down with car pro eraser. Just to remove if there's any oils on there or any glue residue from the factory. And then we've coated it with G-Technique C2 V3. Uh, inside's received the valet as well. Not much to do in here, like I say, the vehicle's brand new. It's only done 544 miles. Wheels, C2 v 3 as well, as well as the calipers. Uh, it, sorry about the shake here, guys. Um, we've actually coated the inside of the barrels as well because it's so easy to get your hand in. It seems pointless not doing that. Yeah, it's a lovely car. Stealth grey, I think. No, it's not stealth grey. Magnetic grey, I think we call it. But yeah, beautiful car. Next is over to Bingley for Peugeot 206. <laughs> Seven thirty. It's the nineteenth of June. Um, we're on our way to Ilkley. Um, something very, very special in for today. Not something I've worked on. Uh, not something any of us have worked on. We have worked on the model previously, um, but obviously since they brought out a new one, uh, one of our customers is quite a big collector of said vehicles. So we will update you when we get there. See you shortly. <laughs> yeah.
wish you bum 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 Tell me I'm the only one that you love Life could be a dream, sweetheart Here we are, Aston Martin DV11, absolutely box fresh from factory, 20 miles on the clock. Absolutely beautiful. The lines on this thing are unreal. I believe this is a 4 litre V8 because they don't do the V12 in convertible Volante style but yeah receiving our new car protection detail and coated with G-Technic XO version 4 after paint preparation wheels will be wearing C5 glass will be wearing G5 this is going to be beautiful I'll take you along for the day so the vehicle's received now it's full safe wash uh, wheels cleaned arches and tyres We've done the paintwork, so you've had snow foam, two bucket method, all the gaps and crevices detail with the detailing brush. Uh, like I say, it's box fresh, so there's no tar to remove. But what we are going to be doing is using iron fallout. Uh, these cars spend quite a while in transit, even when they're being brand new. So this is going to decipher if there's anything on the paint that shouldn't be. What you don't want to be doing is getting any foreign bodies between the pad polish and the paint so what we'll do is just lightly cover the car in fallout remover wheels as well obviously you get iron particles steel particles off the brakes we'll let this bleed if there's any he's a bit inconsiderate isn't he? trying to talk here mate Just a liberal amount of the whole vehicle and I'll bring you back in a second to see if we find anything. Some time later, like I said, box fresh car, 20 miles on the clock. If I can just pick this up on camera. Okay, it's not a lot, but it's enough to potentially cause problems in the machining stage. Bonnet's quite bad actually usually find the rear of the car can be quite bad as well we need to get this rinsed off so that's what we're gonna do but yeah always worth doing always part of the routine guys. let's go uh, we're now inside with the DB11 Volante we're just getting some lights rigged up um, as you can see there's not many marks in this paint there's a bit of buffer trailing um, but first of all, scan grip, colour match, new addition to the KVD team, uh, super bright, and um, we've got a different Kelvin temperature, so that's, and there we change the colour, the lighter colour is probably going to do us some favours on this one, sorry about the flicker there. Uh, but yeah, just slight buffer trailing, slight DA sanding marks, uh, they'll all be lifted. It's going to be a long day, uh, and then we're going to be coating this in EXO. Yeah, looking forward to getting started on this. So we're going to get some tape on, it's lovely and clean, decontaminated, and we're ready to go. Let's get moving! Quick update on the Aston, uh, where we're at. Uh, we've just been doing some test panels on this um, door here. Uh, of course, Aston Martin, uh, paint the cars, flat them back, polish them back up. In turn, leaves a hell of a lot of sanding marks and pigtails from the DA. Um, we're working on a microfiber cutting set going down to an orange pad so it's a bit softer and then we'll refine the rest of the car will I say the rest of the car most of the car doesn't actually need that uh, some parts of the vehicle well, 
I'd say about 80% of the vehicle after the initial inspection only requires uh, a refining pass to get rid of the buffer trails from rotary polishing. Uh, again, induced from factory. There's some sanding marks close to the edge, just on this rear quarter, so we're going to have to tape up there and use a spot polisher to get into that. Uh, but yeah, the scan grip light's working well. Uh, we've got every single polisher out at the minute. So we've got the Vertol for the 5 inch, we've got the Vertol for the 3 inch, we've got the Proxim for the 1 inch, and the Shine Mate for the extension on the rotary as well. Cracking car, this beautiful colour. Um, I'll just take you around this way. Really sorry for the flicker, if we get any. Um, it's coming up well, so that doesn't need refining, as you can see. Just a bit of haze from my microfiber cutting set now. Um, we've got the paint depth gauge out somewhere. But if I just take you in on this, 183, 188, 194, 187. So there's plenty to play with to be able to remove these marks safely. Uh, as always, we come well prepared with the kit. So we've got the scan grip lights, we've got the polishers. Um, the shine mate is in there somewhere. There we go. <clears throat> and then we've got all the pads from one inch, two inch, three inch, sparing brushes, five inch pads, pan prime, uh, swabs, which are going to come in handy later for this. So you can see where it's being polished. Just there, if I get some focus. £200,000 vehicle and they can't even be bothered to remove polish residue. Come on Aston, fuck your ideas up guys, it's not good enough. Keep losing focus there. But yeah, progress is good, we've now got the pad combinations and polishes that we're happy to use. I'll show you under there later, that's a clamshell, that is beautiful, absolutely stunning. Wheels, they'll be getting coated later. Um, it's going to be a long day. Wow, who won't want to spend a full day on this? See you soon! folks polishing on the Aston is complete um, we are just about starting coating work it's looking beautiful uh, using the new scan grip stuff to make sure we're not missing any coatings or anything like that fantastic hack Ooh, can't even get it off. Magnetic, we need lights to see up the top there. We'll stick that to there. And we've got light. Light that we need. We've got lights above. So yeah. G-Technique. 
Excel version 4 and our coating pad here. I'll bring you back when it's complete. Good evening all. It's about 7 o'clock. The DBS is complete. DBS? DB11 is complete. Now coated and wearing G Technique. Exo version 4. It's been a long day. Um, chasing perfection with this one really. There wasn't much to do. Um, just chasing some dealership defects. Uh, again, sorry about the light flicker. I don't know why it does that in here. <coughs> I just need to try and get as far back as I can so I can swing around and show you the finished article. It's simply beautiful. When these first got launched, I was never sure. My god, they are stunning. Beautiful lines just everywhere. Really, really enjoyed that. In fact, I don't want to leave. The team have done a mammoth job today. Ciao. Good morning folks, uh, we hope you really enjoyed the Aston Martin footage, uh, I really wanted to keep that one a secret. Uh, the owner actually kept it a secret from us for a while to be fair, uh, right up until delivery day, which was fun. We didn't quite know what to expect but that makes it all the more fun. So, uh, late finish last night. So we're on our way to, well, late finish, early start, we're on our way to Wakefield this morning, it's currently 6.45 and we're about halfway there, so we're going to set off, set off quite early this morning, but uh, we're prepared. Oh. In the real world that should be a cup of tea with like four sugars in it, but it's not, it's a can of monster with about 50 sugars in it. So it should keep us going for the day. Uh, regular cars out there. So I'll uh, I'll get a couple of walk arounds and whatnot when we're out there uh, for the vlog. And we'll uh, see you soon. Here we are then, we're in Wakefield. Nice business park. Red hot here. I want this morning, I want this warm and I set off this morning. So. We're in. I'm gonna have to turn the camera around again. Yeah, two seconds. Audi A6 in for its regular maintenance. Uh, outside don't look too bad. Inside, however, a trip to the seaside. There's uh, half a sugar ring donut down there. So that's gonna be sorted out. Uh, Wagon, we're just getting set up. Um, gonna be a good day. That one next, but first, let's get Summer's here. This. We've uh, brought an old friend out over the last couple of weeks. Wax Addict Faux Show Spray Wax, exceptional gloss. Uh, enhanced speeding and in Increased durability as well. Um, leaves a stunning gloss. Look at that. It's a lovely car, this. Don't really see many in this colour, that's for sure. Just some paper mats to put in now. And then we can start on the Q5. Gotta go, gotta see things. See new faces and brand new things. Gotta go places and do things. Maybe to forget it.
packed up and ready for collection. I'll uh, just go out and show you it now. The uh, KBD wagon looking nice and clean. So if we just take a walk up, the mark that was there previously has now been lifted and removed. Looking well. 19,000 miles from new this. It's on a 2013. It's now ready for sale. Passenger side seat white vacked to remove watermarks. Rest of the seats were fine, so they didn't want me to bother with any of those. Really good interior spruce up. Uh, yeah, wagons had a good clean as well. So we're just in between jobs now. Um, Driver seat's worse. Look at that. Really need to get to grips with this. But yeah, one more to do, and that's it for the week. Hello and good morning. It's the final week in June. Currently 20 degrees uh, and it's only 10 to 9 in the morning. Um, temperature's set to get to at least 30 degrees today. Um, so that's going to be fun, especially wearing black uniform. Uh, as you've seen, we've just come over the Ilkley Moor. We're on our way to do a new vehicle to a long standing customer. It's a Mercedes E63 AMG. Not worked on one of those before so it's going to be nice to get to grips with that uh, we're going to be putting some protection down on it for him uh, so yeah I'll, uh, I'll show you what we're dealing with when we get there uh, I think it's an all blacked out black paint black wheels a bit of a stealth car so yeah I will see you in a round about <laughs>
Good morning. We're in Wakefield once again. Mercedes Viano. Up mainly for an interior detail. Uh, on the face of it, it doesn't look too bad. But it seems to have been a town taxi duty this one for a while. Uh, if you can see in there, the owner wants all this removing. Uh, we'll clean the leather up as well while we're in here, so it's looking a bit shiny. Uh, very, very dusty over the top there. We'll get all this cleaned out, uh, but first it's an exterior surf wash. Uh, we'll just dial in foam. It's 20 degrees, it's red hot. It's going to be a good day today, as it always is. for our contract, fortnightly contract, complete uh, Audi Q7 S-Line, a 2017 Land Rover Discovery, which I'm going to flash up in a second uh, for one reason, and the VW Touareg, um, which is potentially the last time we're going to be cleaning that because that one's going. Um, so yeah, uh, a different style walk around video. Um, on the discovery of, of why you shouldn't use roadside car washes. Take a look at this.
Hello all. We really hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Uh, it's been a pleasure to make, as always. Uh, we're speaking to you, well, we're speaking to you now from the driver's seat of a Audi S6 Avant. Uh, we have just given it monthly six weeks maintenance wash or maintenance clean and protection top up. Um, we thought, what better way to end the vlog than with a stunning walk around in the sun of this. It's been an excellent, excellent month. We're looking forward to July uh, with plenty of things to come and happen and get on with in July. The diary is looking man packed as always. Uh, thank you for your continued support. Thank you to our suppliers, uh, EZ Car Care. Uh, clean your car, thanks to Dave there for sorting us out some fantastic products and discounts. And we look forward to uh, dealing with you again next month. Roll on wax stock. And yes, I will finish with a walk around of the S6. But first. Goodbye, folks.